think I've asked you this before. I believe that the reason why you're using the medium of Tai Chi as the physical mm -hmm. access point to these teachings right. is because that's what you happen to have discovered first, as opposed to like doing yoga asana or um, like the Sufis do this kind of spinning ritual. Is that correct? Or like why do we do these Tai Chi poses? So I think as a, as a physical basis, for the physical side of the, the physical etheric, really, um, side of esoteric teaching, that Tai Chi was a, is a very, very highly refined um, practice. So from the, the, something like the spinning of the Sufis, that, that's a very small branch of the Sufis. It's not their major practice. Um, different Sufi branches have some physical training um, but it's not a highly refined, uh, deeply embedded thing. And even yoga, you know, the Hatha yoga has mostly developed in the last hundred years. Yes, as a yoga teacher, yeah. I'm very well aware, yeah. It's um, my, my Indian teacher who practiced the Raja yoga. And the, the amount of Hatha yoga they did was very small. It's just a few basic postures to um, maintain the body in some reasonable state for the much more internal things that they did. And whereas Tai Chi has quite a, a, a well-developed and extensive um, history of people, of good teachers, going back hundreds of years, we don't know how long, you know, back prehistory, of good teachers slowly refining and developing the physical practices as a basis of the um, internal training. So, partially, yes, I met it. That's the one I met. Partially, I was fated to meet it. And I do know that my last life was in China. So it's, it's natural, perhaps, that I met this. Um, but also, I've continued it. Uh, you know, I have done other things as well. For example, I, I learnt Chinese yoga, which I haven't heard of. Kai Men, it was called, from a very good Chinese teacher, and it was very similar to uh, Indian yoga, except that the movements never stopped. They moved into the postures and out of the postures in a continuous movement. And every posture had two stages, one stage and then an extension. So it was, I could talk more about it, but I spent quite some time learning that one as well. It was called by that teacher Chi Su, it was called Kai Men, which means open the gate, open the gates of the body. So it was specific practice, specific physical practices, sort of like Tai Chi in yoga postures. That's to say the smooth movement, the concentration and so on, designed to stimulate the energies in the body and bring them up through the, the centers. So you just mentioned how Tai Chi is, one of its intention is to move energy through the body in a specific way. Right. So um, there's a common understanding that Tai Chi is like fast martial arts slowed down, right. or Tai Chi Chuan, which is the martial art, I guess, form right. of Tai Chi. So how do we connect doing a fast martial art pose and slowing that down into developing internally and being like a more developed human being? Right, I, I can speak about two sides of that. F first of all, the fast and the slow, there are fast movements in Tai Chi and they're slow. There are fast exercises and there are slow exercises. And they, they each have a different purpose. When you move fast, it's more natural. When you move slow, there's a better chance of studying the, um, the, the series of steps that take place in the body. So when you want to analyze it and perhaps modify it, slow is better. And when you need it to become natural, then we speed it up. So slow is not, Slow is just a, a, a useful method. It's not the thing itself. Tai Chi is not slow. Tai Chi is natural. And so when we need to move fast, we move fast. Um, it, it's the method of investigating the thing that we slow it down to have a look at it. But then we replace it back into a, a fast thing. You know, the Tai Chi form, the short form takes, as we train it here, maybe 15 minutes, and the long form, 25. But when I train them, 
for the long form, I take about 12 minutes. And if you try it at 12 minutes, you'll see you're moving quite fast. So, so slow is not a, a principle of Tai Chi. It's just a part of the earlier method. That's the first thing, the, the slow and the fast. And the second thing is um, that the, the motive of training sets where the results will go. So if you train anything as a purely physical art, if you train it for your health, the results will go for your health. There will be no spiritual development. If you train it for martial arts, the results will go to the martial art body and it won't go to your deep inner self. So the motive sets the, um, the, where the results um, end up. So the true motive of Tai Chi is, a, should, is like the true motive of yoga. It's for your internal development. But these quickly become uh, distorted in, in life. So lots of yoga or Tai Chi teachers are teaching it as a career. If you teach it as a career, all it will do is bring you money. You can forget about the internal growth. If you teach it for your health, you teach some people, you be more healthy, and all that will get you is some health, and you can forget about the internal growth. So it's very important, the motive that's behind it. And tai Chi, and that's why, that's why I, I buy, put this by, by word, Tai Chi Taoist principles and practice, so that anybody who came to my Tai Chi, this set the motive. It's the Taoist principles and practice. We're practicing something that's part of the path, the way of internal development. We're not practicing something um, with the motive of health or the motive of self-defense, but these are useful side effects. When you train Tai Chi with the right motive, you will also receive the health benefits. And you will also receive not martial arts in the sense of the ability to fight, but a, a better ability to defend yourself in all physical, emotional, mental situations.